Um, so I'm, uh, I'm Steve Phillips. I'm working on a project with Barra Brown and Claire Peters and, and others called uh, Pursuance. We're very interested in uh, harnessing the internet much better than it's currently being uh, used. I mean, uh, you know, we have billions of people connected to the internet now. Uh, it's about time that we use it for something more than just, you know, Facebook and YouTube and Tinder. Uh, there's a lot of uh, potential out there, and we think that, uh, you know, as Barrett has shown, as some other projects have shown, Project PM and Telecomics and whatnot, uh, th there are very powerful things that people can do. Um, but uh, we do need the right tools, and um, right now the tools, uh, we think that the optimal tools don't really exist. So what do we need optimally um, when we are trying to coordinate something uh, over the internet? It could be crowdsourced research, uh, it could be some sort of global activism like we've seen. Uh, if we have a place to plan and strategize and, and, and be able to record this information in an actionable way, right? Anyone can tweet, hey, let's do X. But to actually say, I'll do this part and you do that part and like car carve out the work between ourselves, that's really important. Being able to find the right people with the right skill sets uh, is, is critical. Um, so if you could say, here's something I'm trying to do, I need these skill sets in order to do it, and you could, you could sort of get, get those people, uh, that would be powerful. If you could have this sort of complementary relationship between uh, whatever your pro project you're working on and projects that other people are working on, um, that, would be, that would be huge. Um, right now, when people are doing some sort of organizing, it's usually sort of all or nothing permissions, where it's like, I have to completely trust this person and let them into the thing that I'm doing, or I have to uh, keep them completely out. There, there's, there's nothing in between. Obviously, being able to, to share uh, information in various formats is, is critical as well. Um, sometimes there's very sensitive, you know, there's people, you know, investigating corruption, and it needs to be, you know, like Paradise Papers or something, and you need to keep it private for a while, but you do want to be able to do a public launch. So, so right now, th there's tools where it's like everything's sort of encrypted and private forever, uh, or it's very public and you're never really protected, uh, but, but sometimes you're working on things where you need a private stage of the project and then a public stage, um, and, and tools don't allow for that right now. Um, and it'd be great if you could sort of see the uh, vastness of the uh, activists of various sorts and, and journalists and nonprofits in, in a single ecosystem. Uh, and. Uh, you know, explore it and find complementary projects and, uh, and whatnot. And this, this will shock you, but this is exactly what we're building, actually. Did you, did you pick up on that? Did you pick up that? So um, we're building what is fundamentally end-to-end uh, -end encrypted task management software. So, uh, and we're building a network of, of people and, and sort of projects and organizations around that software. So we envision this, this sort of federation of activist groups. Uh, activism very broadly construed, so there's a sort of, sort of journalistic, like using journalism as uh, your sort of tool of choice when doing activism and truth telling and trying to hold people accountable. Um, so we envision pursuance as being this sort of command center where it's like you're planning, you're deciding what to do, you're deciding who should do what, and maybe you're linking out to other tools such as Hypothesis, which we're integrating with and I will demo that uh, momentarily, but, uh, or, or linking out to something like CryptPad, it's basically end-to-end -end encrypted Google Docs. It's not as polished, but it's pretty good. But if you could kind of sec you know, securely share these links from this, uh, this space where you are deciding what is to be done um, and then perhaps using other tools that, that already exist uh, to do them, we, we, think that's, we think that would be powerful. So let's see it in action. Let's see. Full screen. All right. So. Zoom level is off, but all right. So this is, uh, so this is pursuance. So th th let's say that you are, you know, we've created a pursuance called pursuance. Actually, we're, we're using pursuance, uh, the, the software, to organize pursuance, the nonprofit, which is very handy. Uh, we can dog food, dog food, pretty, uh, uh, pretty extremely. Um, so whenever you create a pursuance, which is sort of an organization or a project, um, you create it with a, a specific uh, mission. And that mission becomes this sort of high-level task, the sort of root task uh, in the project. And the idea is that everything done uh, within this pursuance is done in order to uh, achieve that mission. Um, uh, attached to each task is a end-to-end uh, -end encrypted chat room. Um, and like things you may be familiar with, like uh, Asana or Trello or something, you can you know, specify that the, uh, the status of a task, let people know that you're, that you're working on it, um, specify uh, which specific people or which specific person uh, it's assigned to, due dates, um, things like this. Um, if we look at a, a sort of simple pursuance, we can see 
this one. Is the font big enough? Can people see that? Um, so let's say that uh, the police accountability, there, there's a lot of people in our sort of ecosystem very interested in police accountability. Um, that's, so let's suppose that you wanted to um, submit a FOIA request to gather information about, say, Rahm Emanuel and the kind of you know, corruption related stuff that he was doing uh, in Chicago. Uh, so, of course, if you're do, you know, like, uh, sorry. Uh, so being able to assign that task not just to a specific person, but to assign a task to another pursuance um, from this pursuance. So we imagine, like I said, this kind of federation of different groups. Here's the expertise that I need. Oh, there's a group that specializes in that. We will ask for their help. Uh, so we imagine this sort of alignment of, of all these different projects helping each other in, uh, in a variety of ways. Um, and then specifically, if we look at uh, a pursuance, we were just um, starting the other day and that uh, Barrett announced on, uh, on Twitter um, there's a guy named Juan Sanchez. He uh, is the he's like CEO of a nonprofit uh, children's shelter, which sounds really really nice, doesn't it? Nonprofit children's shelter. Well, they just got like 200 million dollars in, in contracts from the U.S. government to to house uh, like children immigrants. Uh, that, you know, I think they're separated from their families. Um, and then there was a Democratic, uh, I think, senator that was trying to figure out like. Hey, that you know, what are the conditions that you know are you know that's our tax dollars being used? What are the conditions? Um, and so it seems like there's some uh, uh, you know some some foul play involved or something that's not very uh, savory. Uh, so Bear announced on Twitter, he said, "Hey, that's uh, you know let's start gathering some information um, and uh, you know do do some uh, kind of crowdsource research." So here's here's what that could look like. So you know, I click on this, I click on this task. Um, here's this sort of right panel. Here's some of the uh, some uh, details uh, about this particular thing. If I click the Create Hypothesis Group um, button, and let's say that, uh, that we want to kind of do a bunch of open source research uh, and, and uh, decide, OK, you know, he, like maybe we create a bunch of URLs and say, you go through these URLs, and you know, we'll assign these other tasks to me, and I'll, I'll look at other URLs. But how do we organize this information? Right? Um, so using Hypothesis, um, you know, being able to have kind of one, one list that, that, that organizes all the different uh, notes and information that people have found all, all in one place is really uh, convenient. So if we look at what that could look like, and we create this, uh, um, this basic hypothesis group, and, okay, so the idea is that, uh, you know, do an API call to, uh, to hypothesis, say so here's the name and the description of the uh, hypothesis group we wanted to create, and then um, here this link just appeared, um, th and this link can be used to, uh, to link other people to, to this hypothesis group. So if I right click here, I open up a new tab, and then here's, I actually sort of started on this uh, yesterday and like added some, added some annotations. Um, so, but I demoed kind of what it would look like to, uh, to create the, uh, uh, per the um, hypothesis group um, in pursuance. So here's some annotations talking about, okay, $227 million and 192 million um, plus my additional uh, comments, um, plus, you know, as many of you know from using Hypothesis, uh, you can, you know, tag the different, uh, uh, tag the different annotations. But, uh, but yeah, fundamentally, we think, uh, you know, Hypothesis really helps the uh, pursuance community um, to organize this crowdsource research that they're doing to hold uh, corrupt entities accountable. And just to finish up, um, the next couple steps for us, we're doing a Kickstarter campaign that uh, Baird alluded to on uh, June 11th, just a few days from now. Please tell everyone you know. Um, and then we're going to start onboarding extremely soon. Um, like, you can obviously create pursuances now. You can create tasks, assign them to people, assign them to pursuances, uh, chat within there. So, like, the core functionality is, uh, is really there. So we're interested in uh, beginning to, to onboard people. If you are interested in being among the first to, uh, to be invited to the pursuance system, please visit pursuanceproject.org. Thank you very much.